Getting trees to grow in Wyoming can be very difficult. It takes a lot of time and patience. It's also really important to understand when maybe you need to throw in the towel and decide if a tree needs to be cut down or left alone to continue growing. Next to me, we have a ponderosa pine. The homeowner has been taking good care of the tree, but we're just at that point where they need to make the decision to continue letting the tree grow or cut it down and start all over. Uh, for this tree, we need to start over. It's been planted too deep, not a whole lot has been happening with growth, and we need to find a tree that's better suited for this location. Now we're actually going to dig down and take a look to see where the proper depth should have been. With trees that have been planted too deep, you'll notice that the trunk diameter stays the same all the way to the ground. So on a properly planted tree, we want to see that root flare at the ground level or slightly above. So when we go to replace this tree, we want to make sure that we're selecting a correct tree for the area that we have and planting it correctly. If you have questions regarding selecting trees or planting depth or how to plant a tree, please contact your local extension office, uh, visit the Barnyards and Backyards website, or contact a local arborist. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.